Good morning, good morning. and welcome to Thursdays this morning. We're expecting in a moment a very, very special visitor. Yes, we are. And I'm not talking about Richard Madeley, but a very special visitor. We're just waiting, everyone's dressed up and ready. So congratulations to our team here in the studio for last night's FreeSat Award for Best Live Programme. The judges said this morning's continual drive to reinvent and refresh itself was key to winning the award. Well done, team. Well done, well done, well done, well done, well done, team. Well done, bravo, bravo. Would you, could you put that somewhere safely for me, Tim? Thanks, very kind, thank you. Right, well, you are watching us today by uh, Royal... Ah, yes. There we are. Oh, she's... By Royal Appointment, because we have a very special guest in the studio today. Well, we're all ready. The, uh, the crew are all uh, ready. Wow, it looks like a Cheryl Look Cole that's video. Magnificent. <laughs> uh, Ma'am, welcome uh, to this morning. It's a great pleasure to have you here. It's Thank you. It's an honour. It is a great honour. Thank you, honor. Majesty. Well, the Queen will be with us all morning, and fingers crossed she'll be feeling a little bit more tatty later on. Well, I suspect, you know, so we know that Her Majesty is a great fan of the show. Yes. And so I should imagine this is probably, even for someone who's seen so much and met so many people, would be yes. quite an awe-inspiring occasion, perhaps, for her. Quite right, uh, yes. Maybe. I think you're very right, Philip. Over the past 86 years, she's been remodelled a staggering 22 times, but it's the Queen's latest Madame de Swords incarnation that has had the critics waxing lyrical for being the most realistic yet. And the man behind the creation, sculptor Steve Swales, joins us now, along, of course, with Her Majesty. And welcome to you. Hello. When you are sculpting the Queen, is that the most pressure you are ever under? I think... Um... This is quite difficult as well, but... <laughs> what, being on here? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I think the Queen was the most difficult. I walked into the room, um, I thought I was completely relaxed. The Queen walked in and I just, my throat just caught. I yeah. couldn't speak. So, it well, is... Well, it's quite an intimate thing, isn't yeah. it? Because, uh, because you do have to take some quite detailed measurements. A lot so of measurements, how yes. Do you, how do you do that? We use this piece of equipment here, a caliper, and um, when you do a sculpture, you should know because you've had yours done. I have. Well, I can. Remember. I I stood in a t-shirt and shorts with cowboy boots on, going round on a turntable, and surely you didn't make Her Majesty <laughs> do that. That's a good image in my head. No. <laughs> no. Okay. Well, that's good. Um, but you take a lot of measurements from the tragus, this little lump by the ear there. Yeah. And then you measure, and if someone's smiling, you measure to the cheeks, to the corner of the mouth and it's a 3D that's the important thing in a sculpture it's not just how yes. it looks from the front so how long did you get with Her Majesty to, to go at her with those calipers then um, we we had a sitting of about an hour and a half in Windsor Castle and um, we took 200 photographs 150 measurements probably and um, how has she seen this one? Because you, you sort of have to get it approved all along the way. Yes, we, we've sent, when it was in a clay stage, we sent it, a picture of it off to the palace. Mm. And then we got, you know, a few little comments back and I, I adjusted it. It's is it wonderful. true that, um, I don't know how true this is, but, uh, but, but you were asked not to make it look too harsh? Um, I think there's, it's quite difficult in clay because wax has a translucency. You put the the layers of paint over, but you still keep that translucency. Clay is very direct. Mm. You know, right. the, the, the light just bounces off it in a different way. I did you ask her to close her mouth? I did. It wasn't quite like that. But what it was is that I was asking Her Majesty to smile, but we didn't really want the smile to break into a sort of a, you know, Lots four teeth, teeth mm. smile. So I said, would you please, my closing your mouth, Your Majesty. And then, do you know, because I was a bit nervous, I said, um, maybe not many people say that to you. <laughs> and then she smiled even more, so it's sort of a... And then you up. breathe a big sigh of relief. <laughs> yeah. um, she says she's been sculpted 23... This is her 23rd one. Yeah, I think the first one when she was two. Mm. It's wow. a lovely little sculpture. It's beautiful, I think. Uh, and there it is, I think, that's the, that's and, the one there. Yeah. And, and uh, the jewellery, I mean, everything is based on... I mean, this is a, a complete replica of her state dress. The jewellery is all based on, on, the, on the real jewellery of hers. It's exact replicas. You know, this... I can't keep my yeah. eyes off the size of the diamonds. Yeah, well, this is an amazing diamond. It's not real, you know. Yes. It's um, Lahore... It's called the Lahore diamond. It's amazing. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen this, a diamond. This is George IV's crown, uh, coronet. And, you know, all the 
the badges are all very, Good job very you didn't carefully. call it a hat when you were with her. <laughs> 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 but it does look. I mean, the, the 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 entire the entire figure, everything works beautifully. There have been some dodgy ones in the past uh, uh, that haven't really looked much like her, um, and uh, and this one is definitely yeah. the most lifelike. We have, you know, on the the figure. I mean, we think of a, a portrait not just as a face. It's quite important to get the movement of the person, and this one is. I think slightly different than the one I did 10 years ago mm. because um, she, she's leaning in a little bit more to the, to the, to the people mm. and I think it's a warmer portrait because of the smile and the, and the pose the, and um, things. Every tiny detail, I mean this is every hair is placed in individually, be it on the hair on her head or in her eyebrows and her eyelashes. They're one at, one at a time with a tiny little needle and they're pushed in in the right direction like this. So the the whole job really is about four months' work. You know, my bit is five weeks, and then after that, there's people doing all the hair insertion, the moulding, colouring. But it can be down to just a couple of eyelashes or eyebrow hairs, can't it? Because yeah. I think when you were doing the eyebrows, you, you, you said, let's just put a couple more in here because that changes the expression. Yeah, well, well, I was talking to the person who was doing the, the insertion of the eyebrows, and I was saying, there's something not quite right about it. And she said, I think it could do with two more hairs just there. So it was wow, that you know, down, the down to that. And, and the th what? sorry, sorry, go on, you, go on, you can. And the thing is, when you're working with people that are really good artists, it's great. The team working on this was fantastic. Mm -hmm. You know, everything just worked like clockwork. It had to because it had to be unveiled at a certain time. Yeah. You know. Well, she is beautiful. Well done. Well, thank really you very remarkable. much indeed. Well, thank you for bringing her in. And, and um, I suppose I mean, you, you have to be quite careful. The tourists coming in and getting very close, with everyone's going to want to have their picture taken with her, especially in a jubilee yes. year. Yeah. It's, um, but they are very respectful of the figure. It's, it's great. You know. Have you got wax bodyguards standing around there? <laughs> well, we've got the whole ro uh, royal family around to keep her safe. Well, well done to you and, and, uh, and the team as well, because that really, even standing this close, and you must go and see her, because, uh, because standing this close, it is really quite remarkable. Yeah, uh, thank you. I thank keep thinking she's going to jump at me, and then I think, well, actually, the Queen wouldn't even do that for a hoax. The Queen wouldn't go, no. boo. No. no. <laughs> We're celebrating the Queen's 60 years on the throne with our special Jubilee Week next week, so don't miss that. We're back after the news.